Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Cindy. Okay, hang on, girls. We're running a couple minutes late. Um, oh, Devin. Devin. Turn off the volume on this one. Hi, Judy Baxter. Hi, Anne. Hi, Diane. I'm here, I think, but I'm not really sure where. Um, okay, can you girls see us? Okay, I'm going to turn you around so Roger can take the camera. Okay. Hi, Sherry. Um, hi, Carolyn. Carolyn, both of your packages did arrive. Um, okay, hang on a second. We're trying to get ready. Um, we were pretty ready to... Do you need Devin to take that? Do you want this? Um, we were pretty ready, and then we've been talking with the Spectrum guys. So they're here trying to get things worked out. So if you girls have any comments for them, you know how they love when you have stuff to tell them. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, Devin, tell them a joke. Devin's thinking of a joke. Can any of you um, tell me what Gracie's joke was today? Okay. All right. Follow me. We're going outside. We're going to um, tissue dye. So what we're going to do today is some tissue dyeing. Um, so we're going to take this fun stuff outside because I don't want to make too much of a mess inside the shop. Because you know how we like things to be so nice and not cluttery. Um, so we're going to go outside and do some tissue dyeing. And then um, for those of you who have just joined um, watching our lives, we have a Fabric Chick Stitch Along. You can join. It's on the left-hand side of our Facebook page. But Christy, if she's watching, she'll pop that link in for you. And on the Fabric Chick Stitch Along page, we post anything we're working on. Um, we just started a UFO club. So if you want to um, state what your UFO projects, if you're not familiar with that term, it's unfinished projects. Um, you can state a couple of them or however many you think you might get done during the month. We're not really going to hold you to it, but it might give you a little bit of motivation to get those projects done. So we are going to um, post whatever your unfinished projects are. I think I posted six or seven. So I know you guys are really lucky. You're going to go on my journey with me to finish my unfinished projects. Um, this month, however, they were all shop samples. But eventually, I hope to get to my own personal projects. So I'm just going to um, take you outside so we can get the tissue dyeing done. So that will have time to dry while, while I come back in and show you what else we've been working on. So we've got a chicken sham in here that's almost finished. Um, here's one of Eleanor Peace Bailey's patterns. And he is, um, Roger's buttoning up so that he won't be cold outside because I hear it might be snowing. Um, but so this is the chicken shaman. He's somewhere between a wise man and dinner. Um, so I'm, we're going to be talking about him in a minute. But for right now, we're going to go outside and talk about tissue dyeing cheesecloth. So here is, we do have packets, of course, to sell you because, you know, we like to sell you everything. Um, so directions on how to do it. Um, along with a bunch of tissue dyeing paper. And it has a special dye in it, so that it has more pigment that will um, transfer to your project. So you can use it on paper, or not paper. Well, you might be able to use it on regular paper. For sure you would. Um, but fabric or any kind of textile medium. Um, so we're going to go outside, and I'll talk to you about these real quick as we're going. I know Roger, I've, I've told Roger about seven times we're headed outside, but he always likes to follow up behind me because I think he never knows if I'll change my mind before I go outside. Can you read the comments to me? Quick. Okay, girls, as we're going, you get a tour of the shop. Um, Roger, you don't want to give them a tour of the shop? <laughs> Inspire them on the things they don't even know they might need? Well, ladies, I don't know if I'm supposed to follow that or... Tour the shop. 
She likes to give me so many instructions. Okay, so I'm gonna get my tissue paper really up. I don't know, just look for it. Okay, so here's my cheesecloth. And right now, if you've joined um, Fabric Chick Stitch Along, then you know that we just created a new group for um, textile art. So if you're into that, we're gonna be exploring a lot of different textile mediums. So here is my cheesecloth. And I'm gonna open it up. It's kind of sticky together. Um, okay, so we're gonna open it up. And then I want it to be blue and kind of more sea colors because we're working, if you join Fabric Chick Stitch Along, we are working on a, um, a jellyfish project. So I'm just tearing the um, paper up and Roger could read the comments if he wants. Whoa, uh-oh, I don't know why they think we litter here. So I'm just gonna get this wet so it won't blow away. I know it's always a challenge around here. Um, okay, Roger, what are the comments? It's a tough job. Oh, we didn't get it set up right so that the comments scroll. I got it. Okay. So if you get in close, but Roger's going to wait a second so that um, he can read your comments to me. And don't forget, today we do, um, at 2 o'clock, we do Wild Wednesdays Live. Diane Hensley said uh, a gnome joke. Oh, do you have one? I don't know. Here, I'm just going to put in a little bit of other colors. But mostly I'm doing sea colors for our jellyfish. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use him as the, um, I'm going to use it as the, jellyfish body or I might want to use it um, uh, did she tell you a, a no. joke? No. Okay, you got any other comments? Well, Carolyn G says uh, good videos sound right now. Okay, good. Uh, Rondi Ree says you're freezing. It's a little bit cold, Rondi, but not bad. I don't know but what look, Mary Vitti meant by a chicken cute. Huh. Kathleen Raider, hello from rainy California. Yeah, if you're getting rain, that means we're going to get snow pretty soon. Uh, Dennis Saul Solly says that chicken looks fun. It is. Um, and if you guys haven't signed up for our little... Um, uh, evening with Eleanor. You might want to do that. That's tonight from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. So we're just going to leave this out. Oh, Roger's going to run and pick it up. Okay. I'm going to take you guys back inside because it's cold. Um, so here is what it looks like right now. Okay. So it's got the tissue paper on it, and we're just going to let it dry while we go in and demo um, the other projects. Devin was supposed to come out so he could read it, the comments. Um, hey, Dorothy Gerard, are you getting ready for your surgery? Um, hopefully you've got enough projects, um, some hand projects, so that you will stay entertained and not too bored. Um, Oh, what? Oh, let's go look. Kathleen says she has a panel above the door. So let's go see what it is. It'll take, I don't know, with the wind today, I think it will take like five minutes for this to dry. Oh, there you go. 
she has the one that says, um, yeah, she has the one that says home is California. We used to have Nevada ones that were like that, but they sold out. But we do still have the California ones. Okay, girls, I'm gonna show you. I think this might be the jellyfish that I make. Do you see there how we can collage or do some dimensional roses or all kinds of fun stuff? Something like that. Because the other ones you girls, some of the ones you guys were showing were just kind of too creepy. Look at it, it looks like we might be in high school again and we might be learning about um, the birds and the bees. So, so I might have to add some foo foo stuff in there. Okay, come on, Roger, we're gonna go show them. Sometimes, ladies, I feel like a puppy. Come on, Roger. Um, I, I'm guessing that all filming crew must feel that way. Where was what? What? I don't know. Where was my phone? It was on the table outside. I don't know. Maybe it was in my hand. I don't know. Okay, come on. So here are a few projects that we do. Um... Uh oh. It, so Roger, um, here's the few projects that we've done. We've tissue dyed the back of this fabric here. And this was um, a class that we did with Donna Greenwald. And what we did is we just took coloring pages and we traced the giraffe and then we stitched it just to practice our free motion um, quilting. So this is a super easy project. It's not too big. Anybody could do it. And it will help you to learn and get control of your free motion. Uh-oh, look at that. That's so sad. Um, here's another one. So this one, I literally took um, the fabric and just wiped up the table for my other project. And then it was so pretty, I couldn't, um, I couldn't not use it. So I just, it was the... It was a rag, basically. And then I just put some flowers on it. So you can really do anything with any design. So you could do your jellyfish, if you're joining the jellyfish challenge, you could do that with this. Um, okay, so then our next thing is the chicken shaman, um, which we are, this was one of my very first projects that we did um, when COVID started, when we first started you know, emergency mode, and we had to jump into doing these lives. Um, so we showed you how to stuff the chicken. We showed you how to put in a gusset. Um, and then now we're just embellishing him with a bunch of fun fibers. And I still have a few buttons. And then this will be one of my UFOs. Too bad I can't win my own prizes. But this, will, well, I don't know, maybe I might not want to win my own prizes, but these buttons, Look at here, here's a bottle cap. It's a bottle cap with a shank on it. So that's going, those are gonna be my buttons. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Those are gonna be my buttons and they're gonna sew up right onto his rear end. Um, so here is this poor chicken. I made probably, gosh, 12 or 15 years ago. So he's held up pretty good, um, but the ladies are always pulling his wings off because when we go to shows, um, you, you know, we're textile people. So we tend to um, touch and feel. So he's lost his wings a couple of times. Um, he's just, you know, he's kind of haggard. So it's time to make a new one. So that's what we got here. And then super easy. I know we did this on um, Monday, what to do with your panels, but we had this panel in the shop that we haven't really done anything with. And so Janet just sewed a flange, a little orange flange onto it and a four inch border. So I'll probably custom quilt it just so I can go around the mountains. I was thinking about adding um, some confetti and different things to make the trees more textural, but you know, you only have so much time in the day. So those are a few of the UFO finishing things. And then let's see what you guys have to say. Um, Sandy, I'm your girl. If you need it, you know I've got it. Um, Elaine Ruiz, just call um, Devin. 
Devin is standing by to take your orders because Roger doesn't. Can you do the banner across the bottom? Roger's going to scroll our um, telephone number and our website across the bottom. So you can either call Devin and he can take an order for the Home is California panel, or you can um, you can order it on our website. But let, just one second, because we do have two panels. We have two California panels because California is so popular. So actually, the reason we have so many California panels is because we are actually California kids that are transplants to Nevada. And true Nevadans will let you know you're an implant for the rest of your life, even though we've been here for, what, 17 years? Um, 18. 18 years. Um, so unless you were born here in Nevada, you're never really a Nevadan. And the only one that was actually born here in Nevada is Gracie. So we have this California panel, and I can put these on Friday's sale also. So if you're not familiar with us, if you join us on Fridays at noon, we have a celebration and we hold up about 150 items. If you have something that you're looking for or you need, you can always let us know in advance and we'll put that on the Friday celebration. Um, but you can just sit at home or at Jiffy Lube parking lot, wherever you want. You can sit and you can order stuff. Um, and then this is the one that Kathleen has, I think. Um, so this one I think would be super cute to turn into a pillow for your bench. If you have a bench like on your porch or in your entryway, this one would be super cute to turn into a pillow. I don't know, Rogers. I'm scrolling. Okay. So that's that. So you can call us 775-267-0204, or you can order it on our website, or you can wait till um, Friday celebration, whichever works for you. Is Sarah on? Season. I saw Season's on, but I don't know if Sarah's on. If um, Sarah... Your jellyfish looks amazing, amazing. So Sarah um, couldn't remember, um, couldn't remember and didn't feel like going back and watching the demo when I did Silk Fusion. So she called me yesterday. I don't advise this because, um, because pretty much I do not do this, but Sarah, she's so mean, you can't tell her no. So she needed me to give her a quick little mini lesson on how to do the Silk Fusion. Um, so she had it all laid out, um, and I had to tell her all the steps. Um, she was so silly, but she sent me a picture of it. It's amazing. Fabulous. I can't wait till March 27th when we have the unveiling of all of the jellyfish. I think that's going to be one of the funnest days. So if you haven't joined the Fabric Chicks textile art group, you can do that. Um, it's on our Facebook page. Um, and if you ever have any questions, just let us know. Uh, Roslyn Brainard, are you just using water with the cheesecloth and tissue? Yes. Yes. And Kathleen Rader wants to know, do you need rubber gloves for this dyeing project? I would use rubber gloves, girls. You know I'm not a Boy Scout. I'm never prepared. Um, and it will wash off eventually. And it didn't wreck my nail job, so it's all right. Um, uh, and then what is the white fabric, Sherry, uh, I guess is who's asking. It's just a Mel, uh, Moda Bella solid. Um, I think it's $5.99 a yard. So just a white uh, Moda Bella solid. Um, it's a tighter woven fabric than a lot of the fabrics you see. But you don't have to spend the money on prepared for dyeing or anything like that. It will heat set. So once you do the tissue dyeing and it dries, um, you can iron it and that will heat set it. Devin, can you go get ours and see what it looks like? Wait, get what? Um, the tissue outside before it blows all over the yard. Hi, Anna. Um, and Mary Vitti, she likes being sarcastic. Women, right, has the, has the right to change their mind often. Right. Oh, uh, Rondi and Judy said that we're freezing. So hopefully the Spectrum guys are outside trying to figure out what's going on. 
Um, because sometimes they like to tell me that it's your guys' devices that might be having an issue. But um, Judy would be south of us and Rondi would be in California. So I don't think that that would correlate. Anyways. Louise um, Wagner says it's snowing up on Johnson Lane right now. Um, well, there was snow on the ground this morning, but it's just a dusting. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Life does not have to stop because it's snowing, girls. Um, although Roger says he should be able to stay home. Soaking wet. Oh, okay. Like soaking. Like okay. I'm talking about dripping. Okay. okay. Can you take it and just shake it no. out? Okay. Can you do it? No, I'll do it later. Beverly um, Ann says, definitely going to add this to my jellyfish. What does that mean? The tissue dyeing. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, Elaine. Elaine, you are definitely my new favorite. She says, um, she she's a nurse, and when she read tissue dyeing, she totally um had the wrong mental image. So we don't do anything um you know really serious around here. We just do fun, totally unproductive, um, crafty kinds of things. So we are a quilt shop. We do have thousands of bolts of fabric. But we really, we, we have a little bit of everything. And we do try on our Friday celebrations to bring you a little bit of everything. But we mostly specialize in the fun, artsy, kind of push you out of the box stuff. So we just finished up a class with curved piecing, which is right on the wall behind Roger here. Um, so we do do lots of Zooms and lots of different activities. On Sunday, we offer a free Zoom. So here's curved piecing. So I will just tell you, there was a lady in the shop yesterday who said that this looked really too hard. She couldn't sew that many straight lines. And so I thought she was joking. And I said, oh, that's okay. You don't even have to sew straight. You can drink while you're making this quilt. And, uh, and then she actually looked at it and she's like, oh, you're right. They're all curvy. I could even do that. Um, so really curved piecing is for everybody except for Katie Van Howard. She's the aunt. Um, okay, let's see. Roger, um, Diane is laughing, but you can't hear her. Of course, she wants to do both. Both what? Hmm. Lead me around like a dog. Oh, Come oh, on, Roger. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Um, how, how far back should we go? Um, I'm way ahead of you. 69 degrees in Ohio right now. What wow. part of Ohio? Southwest, Southwest Ohio. Ohio. But what's the name of the town, Beverly? Oh. How's Devin's quilt coming, Devin? So Devin actually had it. It's So it's a zigzag quilt, and it comes in rows. And so he's ready to piece it together. Anna might have helped him cut all of his squares. So... Um, so I told Devin to lay it out on the floor to make sure we're gonna sew it in the right direction because Anna might have had, I'm just letting you know, Anna might have had, don't tell me any secrets because it's hard for me to keep it to myself. No, actually, if it's a serious secret, but Anna um, sewed her quilt together and she showed it to her husband and her husband says, oh, that's really nice. It zigzag, zigzag, zag, zag, zigs. And one of her blocks was the wrong direction. So, um, so, De so I told Devin, lay it all out so we make sure it's zigging and zagging and no zag zags. Um, so he laid out like eight rows. So we are going to have this long, I think he was going to make a table runner using only part of the blocks. So I said, no, you have to use all the blocks. So I think he's got it all laid upstairs. Is it all laid out upstairs, Devin? Mostly. Oh, that's okay. There's three extra squares. A lot of times in quilting, because we strip pieced it, there'll be a few extra squares. Um, so we'll see. We'll maybe when I go up, I'll post a picture and put it on Fabric Chicks Stitch Along so you guys can see it. Unless Roger wants to run up the stairs so you can see it. You might have to send Devin because by the time we get upstairs, we're out of breath. Good job, Carolyn. She's feeling fine and she just got her shot. Um, okay, wait, let me see. What? Oh, perfect 
Dorothy, you'll be set. Plus, the grandkids will keep you busy after surgery. You know, you'll wish you had some quiet time. Um, I also have the Nevada panel to make a pillow. Perfect, Kathleen. You might have gotten my last Nevada panel. I didn't even keep one for myself. Um, Mary oh. Beattie, I can't wait to see your jellyfish. Um, here, Roger, can you show them my, um, I've got my links is almost, I can't decide. Now I'm starting, you know, once I um, play with it too much, I start throwing lace on it, all kinds of fun stuff. So I haven't really decided. I'm not married to it yet. It's not all glued down. Um, but Mary, all the time I set aside for you to come work on your links, uh, I might have gotten a little bit ahead of you. Um, oh my gosh, Roger, you're as cute as a puppy. Mary, I don't think you're winning any brownie points. Oh. Um, if I haven't won any brownie points in 18 years, I doubt I can get any more. Oh, Devin, Charlie's making the zigzag quilt too. Tell Charlie to send me a picture because I'm pretty sure his might be more accurate. He might be spending more time to get your quarter inch seams correct. So we'll see, but no matter how bad you're stitching it, well, you know, how off your stitching is, your quilting can almost always hide it. Um, <laughs> I know. Oh, Ann Linda Meyer, you train well, Roger. We'll just... I, Ann, Ann's correct. Um, when he wants to, it depends on what kind of mood he's in, Ann. Um, Anne's not dying the jellyfish fabric, but she's going to bling it. I'm super excited to see. Um, I'm excited to see. I didn't really realize once you start looking at jellyfish, they're so iridescent and glow in the dark. And um, so I think sheer fabrics are going to work really, really well for this project. And then all the dangly stuff. Okay. Sandy um, Cohen says she's been looking for the tissue that you can use for dyeing. Okay. Any suggestions? Sandy, we sell it. So we'll have it on Friday's sale. Um, we have little packages like this for you. So it's got a ton of different colors in there. We do put in one cheesecloth just so you don't have to run to the store to get that. You know where we're a full service shop. Um, okay, and then my last project, and I'm not really going to do the whole project because we've got to get ready for our Wild Wednesday Live at 2. So if you're not familiar with this, we will post on our Facebook page the link to Wild Wednesdays Live. And at 2 o'clock today, I will be the host interviewing um, four different um, quilt show vendors for the um, Rusty Barnes quilt shows. So um, that happens at 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. I'm not, I haven't read my notes yet. Um, so I need this little bit of time to like do my research on the other vendors. Um, I know Linda McGee, he's going to be talking about um, zippers, all kinds of things you could do with zippers, things you didn't even know you could do with zippers. And we do have her scheduled for the end of the month, um, March 27th, maybe. Don't quote me on that. But we do have her scheduled for the end of the month. And she will be doing, um, she will be doing five to seven, I think, for $10. Um, and then the other trick I want to show you real quick is the kitchen boa scarf, okay? So here is, a, this is a, just a piece of fabric here in the center, right? And then here is a kitchen towel. So I took the kitchen towel and I cut it in half so I could have half for this side. So it's basically, they call it a kitchen scarf or a kitchen boa. I personally think if it's a kitchen boa, you probably shouldn't be wearing anything underneath it. But if it's a kitchen scarf, then you could actually cook with it. So um, what you're going to want to do, and this is the like best trick I'm going to give you today, okay? So I want to gather this kitchen towel here. So I'm going to gather the kitchen towel, right? I need it to be gathered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a crochet thread or some type. I did, um, I took a button carpet and craft thread because that's just what I had handy. And I did a zigzag stitch over it. See that? And then what happens with that zigzag stitch is that you can just pull.
pull and gather. See how it just gathers so easy? This is the best trick. Anytime you need to gather anything, get a thick piece of string or thread and then do a loose zigzag over it. So then I'm just gonna pin this the width of my kitchen fabric. I'm gonna top stitch this on right here, right? And then I'm gonna fold this in half lengthwise with the right sides together, just like this, okay? And then I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch past where my, my uh, towel is lined up. I'm gonna sew a quarter inch. You could do a half inch, nobody cares, it's not piecing. Um, you know, it's not brain surgery or anything. I'm gonna sew all the way to here, right? Then I'm gonna turn it inside out. And when it's turned inside out, it's now going to be something like this. And then I'm just gonna top stitch trim onto here. So the finished kitchen scarf is gonna look Here's a finished one. So this one says hot chocolate weather. So this is, so you can use it for hot pads. You can use it as a dish towel. You can use it for whatever you want while you're cooking. Cause I know all you ladies cook instead of sewing. And then we do have cute little kits. This one says, this is our happy place. Sorry, the glare. Mm -hmm. So for $12, you get all of the materials for one kitchen scarf. So this one's, this is our happy place. And then the other one is hot chocolate weather. So we'll put all of that on Friday sale. So I think that's all we have for today's demo. What other comments do you guys have? Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, would the tissue dye work on chiffon? I think so. I think the only thing it might not work on is, well, I don't know, what is chiffon actually made of? Natural fibers for sure. Like polyester might be iffy. I don't know, we'll have to experiment. Uh, Diana, I don't even think I have any chiffon. Oh, Diane. Oh my God, Lynn forgot it was Wednesday. She's gonna have to rewatch later. Lynn Bonner, do not forget that today is Wednesday because you're scheduled on the long arm tomorrow. So don't forget, because I've got a quilt up there I have been working on all morning so I can get it finished so you will have the long arm available. Um, okay, it's a good thing my husband is short if he's going to wear the kitchen boa with nothing underneath. Oh my gosh, what a visual. I um, What a visual. Okay, all right, I'm gonna just skip right over that, Elaine. I haven't even met you yet, and now I'm picturing your short husband with his kitchen boa. Um, you know, Elaine, I'm short too. Um, that's a great gathering trick. I made some for friends, but just folded the towels. I like the gathers better. Beth, can you please check my basket for me? I ordered back in February twice, and I have never received anything where I've been charged. It, um, Linda, I I do have your basket, but it only has one yard of fabric guy, in it. Right? So I'll give you a call and see what the second item was. I just didn't ship. I do have a basket for free also inside of it, but I just didn't want to ship it for one yard of fabric. But um, we'll call you. Devin, can you write down to call Linda Hall Wagner? Um, see, I could totally see Season and Ed, now look at bad visual. Now I see Season and Ed with their kitchen boas playing pranks on each other because that's all they post on Facebook is pranks. Linda Holagner. Um, left over from hemming my daughter's wedding dress, probably Paul Oak. Yeah, Diane, you're just gonna have to experiment. Um, I know, Sandy, right? Um, I don't know what to do with you girls. Okay, so that's all I have for today. But next Wednesday, um, we do have lined up a special featured artist. Um, she has a fabric line out that we have. Um, so 
I'm not going to tell you yet because I think that Christy's going to post something. So, um, so just know to plan for next Wednesday, a special guest speaker and join us today at two. We will see you in a bit. Have a good afternoon. Go get something to eat so you're not cranky. All right. Goodbye.